You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Florian Doiteau, co-founder and CEO of All-in-One Data Science and Machine Learning Platform, Data IQ. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thanks for having me, Jackie. What are you seeing as the intersection between data and generative AI? The intersection in the, is in the enterprise, meaning when you, when you think about enterprise processes, you don't, you can't hallucinate when you need to make business decisions. Really, you cannot. Meaning, when you need a number, you need a real number. But still, in the enterprise, uh, making the data available to everyone, making it automated, having everyone getting the right data, automating processes is hard. And so generative AI can be the last mile, and data can be like the decision you make. And so with generative AI and data, with traditional AI plus generative AI, you can actually achieve wonders in the enterprise. What significant shifts are you seeing in the way that we are all interacting with our data? Hmm. There was multiple phases in terms of uh, accessing data uh, for the enterprise. In the enterprise, like 10 years ago, it was a lot about putting all of the data together, gathering data because it was scattered all around. And so enterprise in the last 10 years built large data warehousing, moving to the cloud, and the growth of companies like Databricks and Snowflake that you may have heard about. But so now that the data is really available, it's all about getting value out of it, like real tangible value. And this is where data science, ML, is kicking in. Or you can use this data in order to build forecasts about your sales in a very accurate way, in order to super target your customers using very personalized models and so forth for all areas of the business. And so this is happening in the last few years using data science and machine learning systematically within the enterprise on top of this data. And generative AI is a little bit like the cherry on the top. How do you see the ethics of the utilization of AI and the widespread adoption of it? I think that the question of ethics for AI is super important because for many organizations, the way the market is moving is like almost too fast. They are wondering what's coming next, especially in terms of regulations. You've got new regulations kicking in in Europe, in the US, in almost every country. And so for many organizations, it will be about understanding what they're allowed to do in every country, meaning most organizations today operate globally. And so they have to understand what AI regulation apply now and will apply tomorrow for them in order to build the processes around it, around it in order to make sure that they can operate safely. You started um, working in startups when you were 20 years old. What have you learned um, through all those years of experience? I think what I've learned is that in a startup, you need to focus on a few things. Getting the best talent, making sure you understand what your customer is, are, are doing and what they want, and making sure you can ship uh, new updates and progress to your, to your product. If you can do all of those three things, you're good, whatever you do. You mentioned getting good talent. Now you have over th a thousand employees. What's your secret sauce or what are the qualities that your employees need to have to really work in your space? I think that the space of AI is an amazing space. Like we are redefining the way people will work now and will work in five years, will work in 10 years. When you're working on AI today, that's what you help. And I think that first we need, and we have people that are passionate about AI, that are genuinely interested into like, oh, can you use AI beyond ChatGPT or what else in order to change uh, people's life. Uh, a second aspect of our success is our ability to actually build uh, a strong engineering team most of it being uh, built out of Paris, France, which is one of the most shiny uh, places in order to build AI today.